who is not a uh a Scientologist, at least or a child, my, or a child is Bill Murray. <laughs> it's far at least from a child, to my to my knowledge, I don't believe Bill Murray is a child or a Scientologist. But it says Bill Murray speaks out after being mortal set complaint. Uh, so it, if you guys remember, were you here this day, Hannah Claire, when we covered this? Uh, Bill Murray's got uh, was is on a new movie called Being Mortal. It's being produced, okay. written, and directed by Aziz Ansari. Who he's making a comeback. He's making Look at his him go. Come- Look at him go. You know. Uh, and th- the production got shut down because Bill Murray had inappropriate behavior on set. We don't. I I, I do the and really the season, sorry is like not again. N- do not not on to my watch. Listening scare quotes. Yes. So I don't know. What, so originally you're like, was he being creepy with people? What did he say? Apparently he told a joke that a woman on set uh, that he's working with didn't like. Now it is worth it's speculated mentioning. Speculated to be Kiki, Kiki Palmer. Palmer. Um, who we covered recently because she's going to be in Lightyear and had the thing about uh, basically it's like I want to be left alone sometimes and you know boundaries and did, were you here when we did that day no, that was okay so basically she uh, yeah, a she fan talks about a fan who was recording her in some bar and even though she was like I don't want to take a picture with you like please leave me alone yeah that's pretty and the weird. person act asked three times and then when she said no all three times the the fan just decided to be creepy and film her from a distance yeah. uh, and she had a problem with that which is fine seems totally the, reasonable to me seems totally reasonable to but me maybe but maybe she's a little bit oversensitive about her boundaries yeah. so uh so she's starring in this movie and it says bill murray is addressing the being mortal set complaint that led to the production suspension of the aziz and sorry directed film my problem is that it comes out basically that it was a joke he had a difference of opinion based on it with a woman he was working with that led to the complaint uh that led uh, this complaint led to the production pause. It says, I did something I thought was funny and it wasn't taken that way. Mm. He told the outlet. It's weird that he says he did something, not that he said something. Cause I was like, it would be different, different if they had a difference of opinion about him, like touching someone or, or something yep. physical. But like, if it was just a joke, well, that like, should be made clear. I, I crossed a physical boundary as yeah. part of a and joke. We I know was telling. That, we know that he never, um, you know, was actually abusive towards women. He uh, was well, there's, towards there's men. There was allegations from one of his ex or from, from his ex wife. Yes. Uh, so there's, but again, I'm I'm uh, the the more we do this, the less I care about like like every like, I, less, I hear about allegations yeah. every single day doing this like mm-hmm. outside like what am I supposed to do? Like, I feel like Brett is like a war torn lawyer who's like been through the mill too many like, times. Like <laughs> I'm just another like, one. I'm, so you know, so I'm like not. I'm not saying it's not true, but I can only give it the credence that an accusation and not a confirmation or proof uh, uh, gets. We're uh, not you know. listen and believe type yeah. of people here. We're shrink and forget all the way. Always. Exactly. So it says he did not provide further detail on what exactly happened on set, but CNBC reported that Murray, who spoke about the incident during an on-camera interview uh, with the Business Network at the Berkshire Berkshire Hathaway annual shareholders Why meeting, was he there? that's that's funny because they mention it later. They go, "He by who Bill Murray, who by the way is a met is a." Berkshire Ham, uh, whatever Hathaway ha- investor. Uh, yeah, he's an investor, so, or he's a shareholder. So that makes that explains why it's. I mean, it's the Hollywood Reporter. They tend to do that because they're very numbers oriented. It says uh, was optimistic that production would restart and that the incident would be settled between him and the woman. As as of now, we are talking and we are trying to make peace with each other. The actor comedian, who is also reportedly a Ber- Berkshire Hathaway shareholder, said. We are both professionals. We like each other's work. We like each other. I think if we can't really get along and trust each other, there's no point in going further working together or making the movie as well. That's why I think it's the actress. I, I think if this was like a, a grip behind the scenes or a, a production assistant, that this wouldn't have gotten this far. No. I think it has to be the actress. Well, and it sounds like that's a... He's like, well, fine. If we don't make the movie, I don't care because yeah. he doesn't need the money. Exactly. Whereas like Kiki Palmer... I don't. I remember her from the Disney Channel. And Me too. I, I remember her from Jumping. Jumping. Yeah, but I had no idea what I was talking I about. <laughs> oh, we're gonna have a film night. I'm she's <laughs> on. Uh, uh, she's in the new Lightyear, the new Buzz Lightyear but, movie. I mean, but like she's that's she's kind of, certainly not a household. Yeah, name I was gonna say celebrity. The, like when she's at the Met Gala, it's because she's interviewing people, not because she's on yeah. The carpet. She's working. The the Lightyear thing is like it feels like maybe her first big thing in a while she's gonna be in nope yeah. which is the new jordan but she's Peele. ruining it for herself over some joke it's but not that's like- the thing like she's kind of like re-emerging right and that can happen to actors especially childhood stars who you know kind of have to reorient themselves as adult and it sounds like he's like 
well, fine. Like, we can either set her up or there's no movie. And she may really yeah. need the movie. And my, he's being quite gracious about it. My favorite part here is the knee that he bends. And he does bend the knee. He says, Murray said he's been spending time since production was shut down. Shrinking and forgetting. Thinking about what happened. See, growing and learning. The world is different Don't than it, it was Don't when I... Don't do it. Sorry. <laughs> the world was different than it was when I was a little kid, you know? What I always thought was funny as a little kid isn't necessarily the same as what's funny now. That's because, like, four decades and, like... <laughs> Five you are 70 like, years yeah, old. Because you're like 70 years old and you've been uh, famous since like the Reagan administration. So it's like it makes perfect sense that things have changed. <laughs> have you seen, because he and Joe Biden are similar age, have you seen Woody Harrelson's performance as Joe Biden during like the Democratic primaries? Mm -hmm. It's hilarious. I don't really like SML and I don't watch any of their stuff, but someone showed this to me and I still think about it. Woody Harrelson is playing Joe Biden. He like gets up and he's like, I'm going to tell a story. Show of hands, who's nervous? And everyone. <laughs> Look, I feel like Bill Murray is the same generation oh, right now. Whenever he, whenever something like this comes out, I'm like, it, it just seems like a, a given that he's that type of eccentric member because he's rich, he's eccentric, mm -hmm. he's not weird. He's, he's rich, so he's eccentric. Uh, that type of eccentric personality, this type of thing in today's very, very... Um, um, cu the culture that we live in today, it feels only only a in, matter of in time. In the now times. In, in, in the times we live in, it felt, it felt like only a matter of time until it went wrong for a guy like that. But it says, things change and the times change, so it's important for me to figure it out. And I think the most important thing is that it's best for the other person. I thought about it, and if it's not best for the other person, doesn't matter what happens for me. So he's like literally bending the knees. Like, yeah, uh, and, and then in that way, yeah, you kind of deserve what's happening to you if you're going along with it yep. and then perpetuating it I to just, the next person. I can't wait. Yeah. I, I can't just like wait. that he's like a big enough star where he can be like, yeah, I guess like if it works for them. So anyways, we could just not do the movie. Here's the other, yeah. thing. Here's the other thing. Given the, the context of everything we've read, and who he is, who this person is, and the fact that a multi-million dollar production got shut down, there is no chance that whatever was happened, whatever he said, just the fact that they're trying to work it out, it's going to be underwhelming mm -hmm. and it's ridiculous. It's going to be like the most ridiculous yeah. remark when but, we actually find out. Yes, that's what I'm saying. They're, he's setting himself up. They're setting themselves up for people like us to laugh at them because there's no way this comes out and it's actually shocking. It's going to be like, and then I made a joke, and then and that joke was rude, and yeah. then that's why hundreds of employ or hundreds of contract workers and employees are now not getting right. their paychecks because this person not only was likely is this elder abuse. It's just. <laughs> unfair to the people who are working on the movie i also think it's interesting exactly. that like over her thin skin yep. also like he's not going to get fired like they are not bringing in this like uh, there well is no known, bill murray jr there's no there's no backup to bill murray like sorry kiki palmer like i respect your work as a performer but like you You're can not probably get replaced. the sink or swim and, of and this movie. Bill Murray knows that. Yes. He's like, fine, no movie. I don't care. Yeah. And just imagine poor Aziz Ansari. He's like, it's happening again. Yeah. Well, he's probably having a heart attack because he's like, he's a producer I on it too, so his money's tied. Miss yeah, and he's like, I can't make a misstep because like it will fall on my feet. Which like it doesn't sound like it should really. Actually, that's an interesting point. Had it not been him directing and producing, would this have even been shut down right. at all? Or is the fact just his name being tied to it already on? They have. Yeah. They have to. Like actors probably don't. Don't we see Miss Miss Mojo or whatever it is? Like they always do those lists that are like. 12 actors who worked together for years, but they actually hated. But they each hated other. each other. Yeah. Like, I'm surprised. The dark truth I think of Drake it's like, and like Josh. People used to be able to do that because it's a job. Yeah, I feel like this one is like because it's Aziz Ansari's affiliated or it's affiliated with him. They are like being extra cautious, which actually drew a ton of attention to this project that now Bill Murray is like, oh, yeah, well, I've been thinking maybe it was wrong anyway. So are we doing this or yeah. not? Because I have to go to this investor meeting. I actually am very wealthy and successful. Thank you. <laughs> Goodbye. The the comments uh, the comments are always like I I really enjoy finding articles where there's comments because it gives you a general idea of where the public sentiment are. Are comments is. enough for you? Uh, no, I, I'd prefer to not be talking about me. I, I don't need to know what people think you about. You want to hear what I have to say? No, guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> Chaos energy. I can feel yes. it bubbling. Uh, it hasn't been apparent for the last thirty minutes. It's your cinnamon roll coffee. It is. It says uh, there's a difference between being a victim of woke society and being abusive. He has always been abrasive. He's a take it or leave it kind of person. He really is. He's like a most. People People like outside of like a, a you know, people love him for Ghostbusters or you love him for what was the other one Lost in Trans uh, not Lost in Translation uh, the other big ones that he's been in but he you know his big productions you either love him or you tend to hate him mm -hmm. and I love him because of What About Bob I will always love him for What About Bob that movie is fantastic 
But in general, you know, people are going to have their opinions on Bill Murray. He's a polarizing figure outside of like the weird cult of personality that he developed around being weird. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Eccentric. (laughs) It's not possible for him to be. uh, It's not possible for him to be uh, weird because he's rich. When you're rich, you're eccentric. So Uh, it says if you read an interview with Kiki Palmer, you can tell she she takes herself. uh, She takes herself overly seriously is not going to be a light and easy person to joke with. He but is like, does he have like his like handlers who are going to be like, that's what he needs is like 70 years old. He needs like just someone who walks around behind him apologizing constantly. (laughs) Somebody who does research into like who he's going to be working with. They're like, you can say that joke around that they person, but see Bill walking towards someone and they just like throw no, him in a push direction. Yeah, They're like exactly. slow mo like, running to push him out of the way. Don't talk <laughs> no, to Kiki Palmer. I, I, I like the idea that he just has someone like behind him being like, I'm, I'm sorry, my bad. I'm, I, I'm really sorry. Like, it, you just have to ignore him. He's he's the same age as Joe Biden. The, like, the- just i'm sorry <laughs> they hand out gift baskets like like apology <laughs> baskets like there's just the Here's person muffin basket them. i'm so sorry kiki it's yeah it's, it's an edible arrangement of oh like, <laughs> like cookies uh but they bring up the the her comments which was no means this is like a tweet that she made it was like it says no means no even when it doesn't pertain to sex i was at the bar the other day and this girl asked me three times for a picture and i told her three times nicely that i did not want to take a picture with her she still proceeded to film me against my will and it says, if I went off, I would have been in the wrong. So I just nervously laughed while my privacy was invaded upon. I I really sympathize with this. She's like, right. I, I feel real like I still let's say not boo-hoo. totally be upset with her. Look, this is a valid point, Kiki Palmer. But let's talk about your career for a second. They're not going to replace Bill Murray. They're not. So I respect that you want to set boundaries and defend them. I really do. But like, just if you really want the movie to get made yeah, she maybe has like an just over inflated other. sense of her importance to this she is the replaceable uh element of this of this production her yeah. uh i would argue that pretty much any of the people in no that one cast is were. following her around having to go i'm sorry I'm, yeah I'm, here's an edible arrangement <laughs> it's just bill murray and what kind of reputation is she building for herself by being this difficult to work with yep well and then of course uh but the media is not t- taking that it's yeah lost in translation i want to say like this expectation for privacy or like what she's describing is shouldn't be considered difficult to work with but it seems yeah. like if you think that you're gonna get bill murray to apologize for a joke or get him replaced from a movie well he did in, apologize that's the problem yeah he, he, he did apologize. you think you're gonna get him replaced from a movie like i think that you don't understand i yep. think that's a really big gamble to take this is one of those things where it's like uh the joke was always when we were watching when we reviewed um peacemaker like uh there's a character named harcourt who goes out to the bar to drink his name like, is hardcore it's a girl named harcourt okay harcourt, who goes out to the bar and drinks alone and then complains when guys come and hit on her at the bar i was like well you're at a bar drinking I don't alone think you understand like if you could drink alone at home and not have to deal with guys hitting on you if that's what you really wanted it's like you're you're swimming up against the tide yeah here. like that's that's you're, sort of why this whole situation exists hot blonde woman at bar by herself does not get to be left alone you have, you I, have to bring I, i'm just telling what society tells me not what i believe <laughs> should happen that's Look, all i'm don't saying don't harass women don't harass kiki palmer yeah let's also be strategic about when we think we can replace bill murray from movies exactly so this is uh this is what it is and i i don't see bill murray because if he goes the movie goes too he is the name that's going to draw people to want to get that nobody's going to see it for kiki palmer very few people are going to see it for aziz ansari uh but a lot of people will go see something because bill murray's name carries a lot of weight in society still so we will see uh we will see where that goes but uh i i just think that poor aziz ansari <laughs> that's I, he can't win he can't win uh, do, do you remember when that happened? Oh when, yeah, yeah, I remember it. That was uh, not good. It was wild. Well, I used to, I was thinking about it. Oh, I can't believe I'm going to reference this. I was thinking about Aziz Ansari when uh, Chris Rock got slapped by Will Smith because then later Will Smith went up and accepted his award and people clapped and he like cried and it was like a big moment. <laughs> but when Aziz Ansari and I guess it wasn't within the same like one event. You know, yeah. how, how far apart were those things? Like he two hours from when he slapped chris rock and then he accepted the award but like yeah. after the article came out is on is he's on sorry in that fallout he won i don't remember but some award wow and no one clapped of course not <laughs> which i thought like oh so you guys know what you're doing like he won the award he got the award but like no one clapped for him but you guys some violence is word. okay you guys forget that was like what you're supposed to do when people do the wrong thing i guess what they're saying is some violence is okay but not all violence <laughs> yes that's that's what they're saying 
Thanks for watching this clip, guys. If you want to see full episodes or follow us on social media, links are in the description below. Bye. Bye.